guys. I'm the director of fun when it comes to the kitchen, so I'm in the right place. We're with uh, sous chef Matt from Buffalo's Best Grill in Orchard Park, uh, a relatively new place, right, Matt? Yep, it's only been open about nine months now. But, okay. Uh, everything is on the up and up for us. Yeah, and from what uh, we were just talking about, uh, you guys serve anything from uh, plain old burger to some specialty dishes as well, right? Absolutely. We do. Um, Every, every Monday, the owner comes in, makes his homemade manicotti from scratch. Oh, wow. Yep. So Good stuff. We do a lot of specials. Okay, and today we're making uh, one of my favorites. Uh, I, you say the word open face sandwich to me, and I come running. So we're making a prime rib open face sandwich? Open face prime rib sandwich with a stuffed hot pepper on top. Sounds great. And with any luck, the, the bread will just kind of dissolve with all <laughs> everything on top of it. That's the way I like it. Yep. A good uh, open face sandwich. We do have the ingredients up on the screen now for the folks at home, but let's go through what we got here. Uh, we have some shallots here. Uh, mm -hmm. Garlic, fresh chopped, and herb mixture. Okay. Salt and pepper for seasoning. Yep. Breadcrumbs, and this is our stuff, our stuffing mixture for the peppers. Which I've eaten half of, but we do have yes, enough left. Uh, we, we have just enough left. Just enough left. Yep. And then potatoes for hash for, oh, for wow. what we're gonna do later. Okay, a lot going on here, and those breadcrumbs are a panko, right? Yes, they are. A little healthier. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. I put a lot of oil in yeah, there. Yeah, on too, this though. dish, though, you know, forget about it. It's just going to taste really good. Okay, yep. when we get back, uh, we're going to get going. We're going to get the burners going in here and uh, working on this prime rib sandwich with uh, sous chef Matt from Buffalo's Best Grill in Orchard Park. Yep. Right now, we're going to send it over to uh, Emily Lenahan in the newsroom for a check on our uh, dot com situation. Welcome. Welcome back. We're in the kitchen cooking with uh, sous chef Matt from Buffalo's Best Bar and Grill. Um, Relatively new uh, new bar and grill in Orchard Park. Yes, it is. And how's business going? You guys doing good? Business is excellent. Yep. All right. We especially do. you're saying on the weekend games where, uh, when the football's going on. Yep. 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 We're always busy. Sunday's a uh, family family pack day. You come in, you can feed a whole family for twenty five dollars. Oh, that's a great deal right there. Yep. I can feed myself for twenty five dollars as well. <laughs> yes. uh, we are making an open face prime rib sandwich. I love that's any right. kind of open face sandwich. This that's is a, a heavy duty one here. What do we? Uh, what do we? How do we get started? We're going to start off by uh, getting the pepper searing off. Okay. You get stuffed peppers, of yep. course. That's a buffalo staple right there. And I, yes, I noticed is. you sprinkled a little bit of the breadcrumbs on the end. There? That's just to keep the cheese from oozing out. Oh, that kind of uh, seals it right it in. in. There. Yep. Never, never saw that. Awesome. So you get these going with a little olive oil in a pan. Yep. And you sear them, them on both sides, okay. and I'm going to finish them off in the oven. Okay. So they start here, then go in the yep. oven. Yep. Okay. And while that's working, I'm going to get the prime rib going. Okay. We'll just uh, season it up a little salt and pepper. That's pretty much all it takes, right? That's all it needs. Prime rib has a lot yep, of flavor. That's all it needs, right? Okay. Yep. Now, um, at the restaurant, is this a pretty big uh, dish at the restaurant? This is the best-selling item on the menu. All right. By well, far. All right. By far. Okay. <laughs> yep. So, Matt's a pro at cooking this, obviously. Yep. Uh, I hear the music. That means we're tossing a break, but okay. uh, we're going to get this recipe going. When we come back, more summer fun is straight ahead. We're going to get tips on throwing the perfect summer pool party. Today's a great day for one of those. But first, in the hot sauce. Ooh, that's sizzling up there on the grill, but first in the hot sauce, uh, we'll get you looking your best for the season with our friends from the European Waxing Center. Hey, hey Amelia, we are with uh, sous chef Matt from Buffalo's Best Bar and Grill. That's right, right, I got it right. That's right. It's a lot of little <laughs> words there, but it's an easy name to remember, and uh, I have a feeling we're really going to remember this restaurant after we eat the food. We're making an open-faced um, prime rib sandwich, right? Yep, with a stuffed hot pepper on top. Beautiful. We'll get to the hot pepper in just a second, but this is uh, on your menu there at the, at the restaurant as well, right? Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. What else is going on at the restaurant as far as the menu goes? Because you were saying the, uh, the head chef... Uh, former country club uh, chef, right? Yes, so there's yep. all, if you ever been to a country club, there's any kind of food you want. Yes, right? we do. We do have lots of specials. He brings in uh, fresh fish all the time mm. and stuff. I mean, you could, if you want pizza, you could have pizza. If you want salmon, you could get salmon. You Beautiful know, stuff like that. All right, good stuff. Um, okay, so what do we got going here? Let's uh, let's talk about this uh, prime rib open face sandwich. Okay, well I got the uh, pepper already in the oven. Okay, already seared off and going. Right you, now we seared that stuffed pepper in the uh, in the pan. Just yep. for how how long is that? Uh, about two minutes on each side, and then just finish it in the uh, in finish the oven. it in what like 350 or 350. 350. Yep. Just let it uh, bake a little bit in there. Yep. Okay. Now for here I got the uh, pan hot for. The prime rib will sear it off to about medium rare. Okay, and then and you season the prime rib very easily with just a little salt and pepper because prime rib's pepper. got enough uh, yep. fat and everything else this, in it. That's... This was actually already cooked off before, so we okay. seasoned it on the outside. Mm. So that's great. And we'll prime rib has a lot of flavor, obviously. Yes, it too. does. Yeah. People, most people don't like the fat, but the fat is actually where the flavor. That's is. the flavor. That's why you that's didn't right. put too much olive oil in there because nope, it kind of cooks in it, uh, in itself. It sears um, itself. Okay, now you were saying this is a really, or probably the hottest item on the menu absolutely. lately. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we go through maybe three to four rib roasts a day sometimes. Oh wow! Now are you also a butcher? Do you cut this stuff up? Yeah, we yeah eat? we cook it whole and then slice it all up. So you can handle portion. it all. Yep. Now, uh, for those that don't know what a sous chef does, let's let's find out right now. What is a chef? Uh, what are your duties mainly in the kitchen? I do I do whatever the head <laughs> chef tells me to do. Right. So you're <laughs> yeah. doing everything. <laughs> yeah. Great learning experience for you, though. Absolutely. Right? Yep. 
All right. Um, so we've got this seared off. Uh, we're searing it off on each side. How long are you putting that in the pan for? I'd say for something about here, medium rare, I'd say a minute and a half to two minutes on each side. Okay. And then uh, we've got another pan going with uh, some olive oil, I believe, in yep. there? olive oil. And this is going to okay. be for the aioli, which aioli. is mm. a little garlic. Okay. Shallots. Shallots. Just dice them up. And you're kind of just yep. eyeballing it. Just kind of, really, yeah. Because... You know. I mean, you could put a little bit on, or you could put the whole thing if okay. you really want. How much uh, olive oil do you have in there? You I got, I got about, I got about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons. Okay. Now, what's an, uh, an aioli uh, for folks that don't know? I don't, I'm not really sure. I've heard the term, and I know I've eaten one. Aioli can actually be described as a mayonnaise or a hot oil that okay. you can infuse with all types of flavors. That's what I thought, because I've seen some that are creamier, and now you're doing one yep. that's got an oil base to it. Yep. Okay. And that's it right there. That's done. Just let that go. So the key is to get that oil really hot. That's yep. the key. That and as, soon as, as soon as you see it start bubbling like that, mm -hmm. you know it's done. You shut it off and pull it to the side. Oh, it smells great. Now these um, these steaks here, these prime rib, uh, what about, about a little less than about, an inch? It's about or? yeah, it's about eight to ten ounces. Okay, we like and, to keep it. Okay, and that's a pretty thick cut right there. Yep. Um, now we got it. Uh, we're searing it on each side for a couple minutes. Couple right? minutes Not on each bad. side. Yep. Okay. Now let's uh, let's pop this guy out of the oven here. Okay. Right. Or no? This. We'll give this you a quick me. flip. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, you need an oven mitt. Right I'll get out of your way because I don't want to burn myself. Now, you also, uh, Matt did something really interesting. I've never seen, we've, we've had a lot of stuffed peppers on the show, but you um, you put some breadcrumbs right on the edge there, as you can see, yep, and that kind of helps it, everything it helps stay. It, yeah, it helps everything stay in so it doesn't all fall out when you cook it. That's great. That just looks beautiful. I don't even want to eat it. <laughs> but I will eat it, of course. So what that's we're my job, and I have to do these things. So what uh, we're going to do now is we're actually going to take this pepper, mm -hmm. Okay. Put it right on top of here. Oh wow! So you just in, you're just incorporating one yep. thing after another here. Okay, we got about a minute left now. The aioli, the uh, olive oil aioli with the um, garlic and uh, shallots is pretty much ready to go, right? Ready to go. Oh, you just snuck in some cheese there, buddy. We put a little provolone cheese on Don't top. Don't surprise me with the cheese like that. Oh, now it's going back in the oven. Melt the cheese for a quick second. Okay. And then when it comes out, you put it on a piece of. Toast, which I have right here. Oh, that looks like a good piece of bread. Do you put a little olive oil on that bread, too? A little olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's all it takes. That's it. All right, really quick, before we, uh, you're going to pop open the oven, but let us know what's going on at the restaurant. Any specials, anything people need to know about? Absolutely. Every, uh, every Wednesday, we have a pasta station where the, we bring out burners inside the actual dining room itself, oh, and really? you get to pick whatever ingredients you want, and the chef will cook it up right there for you. Oh, good stuff. All right, I hear the music. Let's uh, see how well that cheese melted. Probably needs another... Few oh. seconds, but maybe not. We should be all no, set because yep. the oil will finish it off. The oil will finish it off. So, can I dump this on there? Yep. Here, let me just dump this off. right here. There you go. Gotta you get pour some too. right on there. Pour that right on there. Right oh, on there. Oh, yep. wow. That's, That's it. That's amazing. You guys can get this at Buffalo's Best Bar and Grill. Coming up in a few, we are going to do a uh, kind of deconstruct this dish. That is just beautiful, by the way. Great job, there Matt. Um, we're going to deconstruct that and make a wonderful second helping, but first we're going to get a check on weather. I think we're going to take you outside right now. That's the 198 at Parkside. That's not traffic. That's just a light that those cars are stopped at. Don't worry about that. Uh, Amelia's back in with a look at uh, your forecast. It's a steamy one. Stay with us. And welcome back. We're with uh, Chef or Sue Chef Matt from Buffalo's Best Bar and Grill in uh, Orchard Park. We just had to carve into the uh, open face prime rib sandwich, and it was delicious. There was a term that they used in Louisiana where I worked. That food's so good it makes you want to slap your mama. Well, <laughs> that I'm not going to slap my mom, but that was awesome. All right. Thank anyway, you. glad you enjoy it. All right, we're going to make a, uh, a hash out of the leftover uh, prime rib. Is that what's happening? That's right. Okay. If you have any uh, baked potatoes or potatoes left over, mm -hmm. you just chop them up real small. Put them in the pan with a little bit of oil. Key is to have that pan nice Real and hot. hot. You've been doing that all morning. Yep. That's a good lesson learned there. Um, I bet in the kitchen when you're uh, the sous chef too, you're constantly preparing things ahead of time, right? Yeah, always try and keep a couple burners going just just in case. It's controlled chaos, from what I understand. <laughs> yes, in, it is. In, in, in it the really kitchen, is. I bet, right? All yep. right. Um, so a little salt in there. A little and salt, then add pepper, a little more oil. Yep. Okay. Now this could be a breakfast dish if you wanted, right? Absolutely. Yep. We it's serve this. We uh, dish. we actually serve this on our menu for every Sunday for our brunch. Oh, great. Okay. So, now you were saying that you've been open about nine months and you already have a, a pretty good client base right now. You got Absolutely. A lot of people coming in. What's uh, yeah. besides this dish? I know this is a hot one. Um, what else is pretty popular at the restaurant? Uh, we do uh, chicken provencals. Uh, you know, we, we have a new summer menu out that we have. Okay. We make our own chicken Asian spring rolls, oh, wow. crab cakes, stuff like that. So everything's homemade there, too. And uh, as well, uh, Matt was telling me that they also, uh, you make your own sausages there, and you stuff, you case them and do yes. everything there on yes, the premises. Yes, we do. Uh, we make our own Italian sausage. Wow, so you're working overtime here. All yep. right. Um, we got so. the uh, hash going here. Yep. 
And, and what else little, you just A little bit of onion, some garlic, and that's about it. So basically What's all the all same crisp ingredients up? here that yep. we used this morning. And that's okay. that. That looks like a delicious hash. I think we're going to definitely enjoy that later as well as the open face sandwich, which is just a beautiful open face sandwich. We were discussing that before, and a lot of them are just kind of sloppy and stuff like that. Um, okay, we're going to finish up the show here in the kitchen. Guys, come on in to the kitchen right now and um, have a look, look at this. All right, this is great. This is good stuff. Um, hey, coming up tomorrow, I'm winging it Buffalo style. Chef Steve from Francesca's is back in the kitchen. Um, hopefully doing something as good as this. <laughs> and we'll uh, continue staycation week with a kayak trip down the harbor. And we're going to get a little floral with the Lewiston Garden Festival. But right now, we're going to eat steak. Yes, we're going to carve into this. Have a great day.